Hi, I'm here Victoria and welcome back to my crime and policing channel. In today's session, we are talking about revenge porn. Now then, you might think it's a great idea to get back at your ex by posting pictures or videos of you guys doing what you were doing when you were together, consensually, um, to other people, to embarrass them, to humiliate them, maybe to alter their chances at finding somebody else or just generally to be a bit of a knob. Well, it's not a good idea, it's actually an offence. And it's really, really bad. It's degrading, it's humiliating, and you really shouldn't do it. It's not a new concept, people doing this. I think since the popularisation of camera phones and stuff like that, people have used it as a way to take intimate pictures of themselves and of each other and to um, communicate this way, to be as part of their normal consensual relationship. However, when this ends, that stuff is then sent on, which can cause humiliation and does um, affect people's careers, livelihoods and mental health. It's super serious. The reason why I'm talking about this is because it's massive in the news right now. So some people, I think from Love Island or whatever it's called, I don't know, um, have been in the tabloids because the uh, male in this heterosexual relationship with a male and female has recorded him and his ex-girlfriend having sex in his garden um she didn't know that they were being recorded by the way he said he might have accidentally recorded them doing it um and she's like please delete that that could kill my career and yours it'll be really bad let's not get that out there okay and he's like yeah i won't do that it'll be silly only to then drop it on only fans and profit from it make quite a bit of money from this footage Naturally, this uh, young woman has decided that's not fair and has taken him to court. And that's currently unfolding in the press right now. Okay, so since recording that video, the verdict has come in and Stephen Bear, whatever his last name is, is in prison. So he got 21 months for the crimes that he committed against Georgia. So well done, Georgia. I hope that that justice will somehow help you re recover from the trauma you've suffered at the hands of that guy. Um, so yeah, revenge porn is a serious offence. Do not do it. Do not condone it. And report it if you think anyone is doing something like that. Thank you. So what is it then? And I've seen a lot of these comments where people are saying she shouldn't have done it. Um, and lots of disparaging words towards women, from women, from men, from other people calling her this, that and the other for doing it in the first place. Now, she's not the only consenting adult in the world to have sex. A lot of people do it. We just don't get caught on camera by naughty ex-boyfriends. This guy did do that and that's why they are in court. So, using my little friend, my Blackstone's Handbook for Policing Students 2020, we're going to look at the law in relation to this. So, what has he done wrong? Okay. Apart from that hideous outfit he wore at court... Revenge pornography is when private sexual images, usually of a former partner, are made available to the public as a form of revenge against that other person. Now then, you might be thinking, it, it might be kind of a, I don't know, oh, I'll, I'll prove that I was with them. Yeah, they can't deny it if I've got pictures. Not good. It is now an offence to disseminate to the public or a section of the public. You don't have to put it on the news. Films or photographs of a sexual nature without the consent of the portrayed person and with the intent of causing them distress. Now, when you're looking at distress, you think, would a reasonable person think that that would cause someone distress? Having your naked body or photos of that sent around people you do not consent to will cause you distress. And I think it's quite normal to assume that most people would feel that way. So just don't do it. So... It is not an offence to disclose the images to the portrayed person. So say you and another have got images of each other or whatever and you show that to that person, they'll be like, okay. Or if you receive that image, you then go, oh, check this out. And they go, oh, where'd you get that from? So images that have been altered, so using software that enables the manipulation of photographs are also included in the remit of that offence but not if the unaltered images were non-sexual and they only became sexual due to the alterations. So a lot of people have had their heads photoshopped onto bodies and stuff. It's really weird, guys. Come on, what are you doing? So 
Defences include that the disclosure is necessary to prevent, detect or investigate a crime or relate to the preparation or publication of journalistic material which is in the public interest. A further defence is that there was reasonable belief that the images had already been released for reward and there was no reason to doubt the portrayed person had not consented to the release, for example, commercial pornography. So it's tribal either way. Now an either way offence means it either sits in magistrates or in the Crown Court, depending on the severity of the crime as we know. It's a fine and or a maximum of two years imprisonment if convicted on indictment. So one of the first people to be convicted was sentenced to six months in prison, suspended for 18, um, ordered to undertake unpaid work, find costs and became subject to a restraining order. This relatively robust approach is intended to act as a deterrent as what is judged by the authorities as an increasingly common phenomenon. It's so weird. Like, why on earth, if you had any care or love for the person that you were with in the first place, you wouldn't do that to them. It's horrendous. It's... I can only imagine how violated that person must feel. So let's not do that. If you have pictures of somebody in your phone, an ex-partner, delete them. I mean, for what other reason would you want to keep them? Delete them and move on. And if you have done something like this, don't do it again. Delete them and move on. So there you go, revenge porn. In the meantime, stay safe, look after each other, and please don't commit any crimes. Bye.